I have created from template. First, I am going to unlock all settings. I am in a Lenovo laptop, Windows 10, and I want to get into creative mode. Now I have to go back to settings. Now that the game has opened, and I want creative mode, personal game mode, creative mode. Both of these should be creative mode. And operator. I have to get out of the game because I can't change this while I am in the game. So getting too creative in Grid Runners is not an easy thing to do. It takes quite a few steps and a lot of trial and error. Now I can go to Simulation Distance 12 Chunks, which is much better visually. I want Show Coordinates. I do want Tile Drops. I do want Immediate Respawn. I do want Always Day. And for now, I do not want Command Blocks enabled. Let's see what we have now. I am back at the spawn point when a player first enters the game, but I am also back in Adventure Mode. I want to be in Command Blocks Enabled False. I will have to go back and change this shortly. Do I have spelling and spacing and wording correct? Game Rule, Space, Command Blocks Enabled, No Spaces, False. Now I want Game Mode Creative. Here we are. But before I can go on with this game, next I have to teleport to a far away area of command blocks on platforms, which are very carefully designed, and if you want to spend time familiarizing yourself with this, the de design structure is quite exquisite and brilliant. The bottom floor is mainly kind of a central command area, and then different things happened in each of these other areas, but it's very well organized. Iron, gold, emerald, diamond. So for almost each of these floors, the areas are very well organized and obvious once you know what to look for. Iron, gold emerald, diamond. This video uh, is really intended for people who are interested in design features um, and it would help if you have already played the game several times. This is not a, an introductory video to the game itself and it is not a run-through of the game. Iron, gold, emerald, diamond, and I'll come back down. Next, I have to check some of these command blocks. TP at all players. This is the spawn point of the game. I will leave that there for now. The most important thing for this video game mode, I'm going to add a hover note here to make the, this particular block easier to find, and I am going to change this game mode to creative. So I am going back into each one of these game mode blocks, and now the hover note appears. It shows that this block is about game mode. I have a few others like this to do. Game Mode 2 is Adventure. I want Game Mode 1, which is Creative. And likewise, I'm going to change this one. So it's not really just one block with Game Mode. It's probably at least about six, seven, at least seven command blocks. Game Mode. And while I am at it, this is just one little additional thing. Global Teleport, TP Teleport Rescue. I'm going to change this to 
at P for nearest player. I could also use at self. I am doing this because if I make videos to demonstrate any particular aspect of a game and of this game, if I get to a certain setting to where all players are automatically teleported back to the central lobby, when I'm doing videos, frequently I have another player, which is also myself, but with a different set up myself as a different person or player on another device, and I do not want that player teleported. I want that player with the video set up in place to stay until that section is completed. So I have that one. Again, this is a somewhat small centralized area that is absolutely jam-packed full of commands and designs which are especially well organized so that I'd say once you've been into Minecraft and maybe you're at an intermediate, maybe a very advanced beginner or an intermediate level and you've done some work and understand command blocks and commands and many details related to that, this would be um, not too difficult for you to understand and you would could truly gain an appreciation of design and perhaps how to do additional designs in your own games. Okay, game mode two is adventure. I want that to be game mode one, and I have to change that over here. So notice in detail here these four sets of vertical stacks. The most important things, especially for my purpose now, are these shorter stacks. And again, if you just sit back and look, what do you see? Before you have to agonize too much over anything, you know this set involves iron, this set involves gold, this set involves emerald, this set involves diamond. So I am going to go to each of these shorter stacks, find the game mode block, and change that to game mode creative. So now I have done game mode creative for each of these command blocks. Usually in my videos I do have coordinates visible so that in your own games uh, if you want to use anything I do as a guide you can kind of pay attention to that and know where to teleport yourself to be able to do that. I have come back to the main game area and here is another platform that has two layers or two tiers. There's an also underneath structure down there. Uh, and notice the iron blocks and there is a change I want to make here especially for video purposes. I'll do at self this time. For the platform under the gold course I would also have to find the global rescue block and change change this to. Likewise for Emerald, and likewise for Diamond. I think I have accounted for most of what I need to do for this video. We'll find out. I'm going to do one other thing now taking a shortcut down to the spawn point. And now I do want command blocks to work. So now I'm going to change the rule. Game rule, space, command blocks enabled, no spacing, from false to true. Now I can get started in creative mode. I could have left out global TP rescue changes, but because I want to make additional videos, I chose to keep that in. Obviously, this is for deeper exploration of grid runners. Keep in mind that grid runners was designed for competitive play and, and um, the actual game itself. However, this extends a creative person's use of the game for more exploration and learning. That's all for this video. Bye.